Well, they don't get too much bigger than this. Six foot, 10 inch, Ruben De Jong on the left, 122 kgs, up against the corned beef kid, Terry Tuteru, 129 kgs. And of course we go with Terry with twice the experience of Ruben, but uh, Ruben, well, how do you overcome a big unit like that, Shark? Oh, you know, he fights MMA as well. And He's the only guy I look in the eye when I'm on the top of that cage with the camera. And, of course, uh, you know, he got some good credentials. Started off in K1, uh, Ruben De Jong, uh, but his last fight we saw him was about a year ago. Uh, so he ha hasn't had the, the recent fighting, but uh, a year ago he beat C.O. Vitale, you know, a really top-class fighter. Oh, this is going to be a good fight, and this is the kind of fight that can finish early too, because both these guys have got obviously knockout power. Look at the size of them. Oh, Terry's a, you know, you look at Terry and, and think, oh, will he last three rounds? Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that at all. He's, oh. uh, he's fought K1 as well, Shark, and found that he was just a little bit too short in, in there, but man, he can really bang. Well, he's got to get past the, the reach of these on, and that'll be one way of doing it. Yeah, K1 rules here tonight, so uh, no grappling as such. One one knee in the grapple, and then uh, he must take one arm away. But, uh, you know, one knee can do it, and Ruben De Jong certainly halfway there as far as the knee to the head goes. Whoa. Yeah, Terry loading up. He knows he's got to drop a bomb. Ruben's got a problem here. He's got to find a way of getting in and landing some shots. Oh, good work to the body. Oh. But, uh, Ruben's proved in the past that he can take a shot. He's a strong man all around. Coming to the fight game late he's only 30 years of age now but, um, just took to it like a duck to water really oh, and of course cool. when you're that big 122 kgs everything you throw anything that lands stays landed and doing some better work here on the outside yeah, it's so just on. where terry doesn't want to be uh, looking for a way in it's terry trying to Take those legs away, slow him down. That was a good kick to the outside of the thigh from Tuteru. And he oh. lands another good one. And uh, good for his supporters to see him land so many good shots to the outside of the thigh early in the fight. Three three-minute rounds. Oh. oh, yeah. You're thinking what I'm thinking. It was pretty close. Terry has got a lot of power on those hooks. Looking to land one. He's happy to take a kick if he can land one of those punches. Born and bred out West Auckland way, Shark. Uh, he, uh, he's in the security game. So if he points for you to leave, <laughs> I think you'd be leaving. Yeah, also a fantastic MMA fighter as well. Well, that's right. And that's uh, not, uh, you know, MMA is uh, anaerobic and aerobic, so two different types of fitness there. But he can do both. 
Yeah, he likes to push a bit of iron too, Shark, and that certainly shows. He's uh, said, I don't really have much time off. I just like to spend it in the gym, you know. So, And it certainly shows. Big oh. fellow, well built. Always turned himself in excellent condition. Oh, oh, the timing was on there. Lucky Terry had the guard up. Yes, if uh, Terry gets lazy at all, he'll pay for it, that's for sure. And the longer it goes with the uh, being punished on the outside, that's where it, what he's got to do is certainly trying to get through. Of course, Terry very busy now running his own gym, South Auckland League Art. And I'm uh, pretty impressed by the shorts he's got on, Chuck. The big silver fern. That's awesome. Yeah, so I always take my hat off to guys that can uh, run a gym and fight themselves. We've seen it throughout the years with Jason Suddy and Roger Earp, of course, who's got a big fight coming up next month. Ooh. So close. That's a real chess match out here at the moment. It is, isn't it? It's yep. a real, this is an arm wrestle here. I thought you brought up a good point earlier where you said Terry's fought in the K1 and fought, fighters are a lot, um, got, had a bit of a height advantage over him and that's standing beside him here. You know, that's really working for him here. He's, you know, you know, you know he's what he's got to do. He's getting in there and he's coming off the kicks, coming off the punches, trying to close that gap. Yeah, you can see he's, he's calling on the experience that he's uh, gleaned over the years. Oh, nice. Run a bit low. I oh, know, he's put the count on. Well, I thought it was a low shot. Uh, things aren't looking too good. No, John Conway waves it off, which I thought it originally was a low blow, but I've got to say, I just glanced down to have a look at the record. Terry Tuteru is uh, not going to be able to regain his feet, and Ruben De Jong takes it away. John the Rebel Conway right on the spot. Did you see it, Shark? I, I honestly... I, I, to be honest, I, I didn't... I, I... My first reaction was uh, that it was a low, low blow, but uh, Ruben's pointing to right on the solar plexus. So <laughs> now John Conway said it wasn't a low blow, but uh, no, he's going to raise the hand of Ruben De Jong. No, there's a wee bit of controversy here because. Uh, the referee has surely, surely got the... Oh, no, he's changed his, he's changed his opinion, uh, Shark. Terry, that, well, I'll tell you what, that's good refereeing, if you can change your opinion. All right. Not well, many referees would do that, and, uh, you know, all credit to Rebel... He must have, Terry must have said something to him when he was down. Reuben was pointing that it was right to the stomach. I'll have to go back and have a look at it, Shark, because it, I didn't see it, to be perfectly honest. So the uh, two Teru fans are all happy again after going deathly quiet. <laughs> well... Gets up to five minutes, of course, to recover. This, uh, yeah, I was just looking down to see when uh, Terry fought in the, in the K-1. It was back in 2002, Shark. He's been around a long time, Terry to Terry. Started fighting in uh, June of 2001. So he stood the test of time. He has. He's a fighter through and through. K1 rules, of course, the grapple won't go on for long. And this round must be just about due to draw to a close too, Shark. Oh, it can't be far off the mark. Well, Terry looked fully recovered from that shot. Then, Ooh, over the top with the right hand. The left wasn't far behind it, only a little bit short. Oh, big right hand there from Terry. You come in, closing the gap well. 
A good way to finish off the round. It was, you know, and uh, Ruben's well guarded fighter. I'm, I'm impressed with the way he keeps his hands up. A lot of, a lot of big guys can get lazy and... Oh! Beautiful right hand over the top! And Ruben De Jong has a turn on the canvas. Well, it looked like it caught him high on the head, Shark. Yep, he's quickly to his feet. Well, what a big turn around this round was. After Terry Tuteru being counted out <laughs> and given a second chance, and after me just saying how good the guard of Ruben De Jong was, <laughs> Terry Tuteru proves me a liar and comes over the top with a big right hand. What a way to end the round. Terry well. Tuteru back to his feet. I noticed that uh, Ruben De Jong elected to stand between rounds still, Shark. Well, let's do the maths. That's a 10 a round, right? It's got to be a 10 a round to Terry, so... Uh, yeah, and I give the first first round to De Jong, so... De Jong yeah. really needs to knock down the win. Whoa, close again. And he needs to win this round for a draw. That, by the way, unofficial scorecard, of course. Yeah, and that's where experience comes in, Shark. So it all comes down. Both these guys will be wanting a knockdown in this round to take this fight away. Because this is what it comes down to. Well, a reminder for Ruben that, uh, you know, you, you've got to be well out of reach of the big right hand of Terry to Terry. He lands another one. Momentarily stunned De Jong. Oh, oh, danger, danger. Uh-oh. Mayday, mayday. Ruben De Jong still looks a little bit unsteady from that last shot, Shark. Oh, he hasn't recovered 100%, but that's not going to slow him down. Oh, the crowd just sitting in awesome silence here. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Both fighters got huge support. De Jong trying to lift the pace again. Looks a bit more uh, steady on his feet as he comes forward. Tuteru waiting to uh, let leash with that big bomb again. But Terry. he's also got to be careful and hurry slowly. Terry hunting, looking to close that gap. And that's where he wants to be. He throws a nice, strong left. De Jong only ever been beaten uh, three times in his career. He's getting to the end of this fight. Well, can he... Do enough to drag a drawer out. Yeah, well, now I might catch. Whoa! There goes another leg wobbler. Tuturu not doing his chances any harm at all when he lands those big right hands like that. Time running out. There it goes. That's where they leave it. Oh, one for the judges. <laughs> the corned beef kid comes out of retirement, although he did have a warm-up match uh, up against uh, Hori Bellis and Drew at this, uh, no, yeah, at this venue. Well... There you go. There's a good lesson there for everyone who's a little bit shorter than their opponent on how to get in and land the shot. Yeah, and we say it time and time again, it only takes one. And uh, he landed a couple of good shots in the last round, to, uh, Shark, and that might just um, sway the judges a little bit his way. I, yeah, well, a lot riding on that third round. You know, I had the first De Jong and the second, the Terry and... Uh, 
the 10-8. With, with, the, with the knockdown, so the 10-8. So, let's give these a so it all depends if the judges thought it was a, a win to, in the third round to Tuteru or a draw. Um, Terry will take it. Oh, I didn't see it that way. 30 oh, 27. No, no. Hey? 30 28 to the Well, I just didn't see the, the scores quite like that, but I think they got the right man. And the, the corned beef kid, oh, he'll be really happy about that. Well, well deserved win. I mean, Started his gym this year, Shark, and uh, doing a good job turning out some good fighters. And what better way to do it but to lead by example, lead from the front. And the big man, he's done it here tonight, the jovial giant. Oh, he's a real gentleman. And uh, oh, he's a well, hard that, that, that's a good, that's a good win. That's a good one to have on your CV. Oh, Ruben's a good fighter, you know, and just showed one fight, one punch can. Uh, turn things around and I hope we don't have to wait another year to see Ruben De Jong back in the ring because uh, he's got a lot to offer the sport.